Central Market at the end of the day on a Sunday. How much have you wanted? A voice. A voice is a human's method of communication. Heard as the eardrum is battered by some wave vibration, vibrating. A change of tone makes speech exhilarating, exciting. A voice that vocalizes the parts of speech found in writing. But without a voice, a human is sometimes less speechless. Without a means of expression, forced into concession, conceding the things he never believed in. But Synod, Synod gives a voice to the voiceless, cause none of us are sinless. Cause no matter the path you choose, you see ten out of ten times Christ will still choose you. You the sales clerk holding it down trying to make ends meet. But in here, even with that end of meat, you're still guaranteed a seat in this game of life that came without codes to cheat. You. The gambling alcoholic addict facing demons that seem to stick you matter. Because the Holy Spirit could speak through anyone. And the church is here and you, my friend, are the prodigal son. You, the mechanic, farmer, nurse, doctor, taxi driver, or even barber. Your opinion matters. So this is the time to share and reflect. No opinion will the church's listening air reject. You. The fisherman casting nets to bring dinner to our family table. You, the technician connecting wires and cable. May healing words your tongue utter. Because you matter in this 2021 to 2023 period of synodality. Where the church makes lending and open air a priority. From the leaders to the minority. Bonded by cords of love and unity. This is not your political party manifesto with manifestations that never materialize. This is the opportunity to adjust and realize, pray and prioritize the difference between listening and hearing. You see, listening is hearing by someone who is caring enough to know that when opinions differ and all that is gold doesn't glitter, enough to know that you matter beyond all the chatter. You. The pushed aside Catholic youth, this is the time to regroup. This is the time where we stop listening to them. And they start listening to us, because we have burning issues to discuss. So guess who's coming to dinner? You, the disenchanted sinner, no longer do you sit on sidelines. Guess what? You just make the play in 11. Because we all on this journey walking, trying to make it to heaven. This is where the church stops listening with its ears and finally listens with its heart. Years of thought we are finally able to impart. Giving life to every knee shall bow and every tongue confess. Because we have a lot of burning issues to get off our chest. So let our lips part like the sea did at the sight of Moses' rod. And let's unite our voices in true synod.